Okay, so to texture this object, there's a couple things to note. Number one, you have to understand whether this is going to be a high polygon or low polygon mesh. Meaning, you know, is it going to be something that has only a few polygons? Something that might be in a game engine or some sort of real-time rendering scenario like VR or AR? Or is it going to be a really polished, high quality render that you might see in an advertisement or something in a movie? Because that's gonna impact what you decide to do for your texturing workflow. So I have two collections here set up. So I have my original model in this collection and then I have a high poly or high resolution um, version of the same model. So if you're wondering how I got this, all I did was go to the original base mesh and we had been kind of doing this workflow all along, but essentially with our subdivision modifier, I just clicked apply and I clicked apply while the viewport was set to three. So you could actually lower that to maybe one and click apply. And then you would get a really reasonable polygonal mesh result. And so the reason that you would want to apply this before you start actually texturing, I'm just gonna undo that really quickly here. And that's because the texture gets assigned to essentially the shape of the polygons. And so we, if we do texturing according to the shape of these polygons here, but then we change the shape by smoothing it, all of the sudden, you know, a texture that was maybe maybe a seam that was applied to, let's just disable that, to this edge here, all of a the sudden there's more edges. So it doesn't really know uh, which edge it's supposed to get applied to. And so your seam that you painted on may be over here or it may be down here. So to avoid that, you actually need to decide what resolution mesh you're working with out of the gate. If you were maybe just getting into this and you're not feeling super confident with working with this many polygons, I would recommend that you work with maybe um, the base mesh or you could think about just applying one subdivision level of geometry. And so if we shade this smooth, I have to select it first here, shade smooth. Let's turn off our wireframe. So you can see that that's actually halfway decent. That'll give you a pretty good render with really minimal geometry. But if you are someone who maybe wants to get a really polished render and you wanna work with really smoothed geometry, you could apply this at the subdivision level of three. So if we apply that, you're going to be working essentially with these polygons from here on out. So you need to have a little bit more advanced knowledge of selecting polygons, edge loops, things like that. It's not that hard to do, but if you're just getting into this, it might be a blocker for you to make progress.